friends today we'll study how to insert delete elements in the middle of a linked list for data structures now first see what are the advantages of a linked list over arrays linked lists are more complex to code and manage than arrays but they have some distinct advantages they are a linked list can easily grow and shrink in size that is i can add as many number of elements in a linked list whereas in case of an array i need to specify the size of my array and they are created in the memory as and when needed the speed of insertion or deletion from the list can be done easily as inserting and deleting elements into and out of arrays requires moving elements of the array when a node is inserted or deleted from a linked list none of the other nodes have to be moved let's see what is an abstract data type for the linked list a linked list is a series of connected nodes or links where each node is a data structure dynamically allocated data structures can be linked together to form a chain a linked list can grow or shrink in size as per the program executes and the nodes in a linked list are dynamically allocated now what is a linked list each node in the linked list contains one or more members that represents data and a pointer or a link that can point to another node so here you can see an example of a node which consists of a data field and a link field and a simple linked list creation can be seen in another video which says linked list that is a singly linked list now what are the various terminologies that are used the next the link which points to the next node of the linked list it is here as it points to the next node null pointer signifies the end of the linked list when the next or the link pointer points to null it signifies that the linked list is null or it ends over there empty list signifies no data in the linked list the structure of a node is integer data structure node pointer next now this is how we declare the structure of a linked list it says it has a data field and a next field which is of the type pointer as it points to the next node and if it is to be represented null this is how we write it as null now how we insert a node in a linked list struct node we've declared so these are the different pointers which are used to point at your node so pointer root pointer start pointer temp and pointer previous we'll see how they are used now we have presumed here that we've created the linked list 10 and 18 now we need to add another node at the end of a linked list so we create root is equal to struct node pointer malloc size of struct node malloc is a function for memory allocation for a node root pointer next is equal to null so this root node when i have created i have put next is equal to null and root pointer data is equal to 25 so this is a 25 which is added so this particular node is created now i have to add this node at the end of the linked list at present so we say temp is equal to start so this is the start this is the first node of my linked list and then i say while temp pointer next is not equal to null we say temp is equal to temp pointer next initially when i say temp is equal to start so my temp also will point over here this is not equal to next so we say temp is equal to temp pointer next as we say temp is equal to temp pointer next this node becomes temp and it is now equal to null so it comes out of the loop now what we need to do is we need to connect these two nodes together so how we do it we'll see it over here the only statement that connects to is temp pointer next is equal to root so this is how it got connected and now my linked list is ready similarly i can add as many nodes i want to my linked list but this will add to the end of the linked list now to print this linked list what we can do is temp is equal to start so again this is my start which is a fixed node while temp pointer next is not equal to null print f percentage d i have i've signified here a pointer type because i want want my output to be in this manner 
So when I say printf percentage d pointer temp pointer data, so the output will come to be 10 and there will be a symbol of link which will point over there like this. Temp is equal to temp pointer next. So now this becomes my temp. While temp pointer next is not equal to null. This is not null. So we come inside the loop and say percentage d pointer. So next data that will be printed will be 18 and a pointer after that. Temp is equal to temp pointer next. So now this is my temp. So it is equal to null but still we have not printed 25. So what do we do? We come out of the loop and we write percentage d pointer null. So what is percentage d is 25 and then we say it is pointer null. So it prints my link list as pointer null. So this is how the output will look like. This is just a simple example of how to add a node at the end of a link list. Now we'll see how we have to add in the middle. Now this is a link list which is already created and I need to add 20 at the middle of the link list. The procedure starts as the count is equal to 1 that initially I've taken that one node exists so count starts from 1. Temp is equal to start so temp will also point over here. The first thing that we need to do to find the middle is count the number of nodes my link list has. So this step this procedure, this algorithm will find out how many nodes are there in the link list and then try to find the middle of the link list. While temp pointer next is not equal to null, we say count plus plus temp is equal to temp pointer next. As we keep counting, we'll get the count as 4. We have to remember one thing. As we have initialized count is equal to 1, so we are saying mid is equal to count by 2. If count is initialized to 0, then mid is equal to count plus 1 by 2. As we find the middle of the link list, now we have to insert this node 20 at the middle position. Again, temp is equal to start, count is equal to 1. So while count not equal to mid, count plus plus, temp is equal to temp pointer next. So temp initially is over here. As soon as count reaches mid, which is 2, so my temp will be here. So now I can insert this node over here. So I need to insert it over here. My temp has reached. This is my temp. And the new node created is root over here. Now we need to connect these two parts. So the only statement that we do is root pointer next is equal to temp pointer next. Now where is root pointer next? So this is the root pointer next which will point to temp pointer next. We have to be very careful with one thing. If we swap these two statements, suppose somebody writes temp pointer next is equal to root first and then the next statement. So there will be a mistake that will happen while printing. Because if we write temp pointer next is equal to root first, so we will be breaking off this from here and then it will point over here. So as a result, we will lose the data of the remaining two nodes. So the first thing that we need to do is root pointer next is equal to temp pointer next. As my temp pointer next points over here, so root pointer next is equal to temp pointer next. Now this will point over here. As I've got a link to these two nodes, so now I can break this and I say temp pointer next is equal to root. So this points over here. So now we have inserted easily the root node at the location middle. Now we need to print it. So first thing again we do is temp is equal to start. So temp will point over here and then the printing procedure remains the same. Now we'll see how do we delete it from the middle. Again the procedure is the same. We find out the middle of the link list. So here we again start from count 1. As taking the integer values, it will be rounded off to the next. So my middle will be like 2.5. So we'll take it as 3. So this is the element which needs to be deleted. As we're deleting it from the middle and not from a specified location. For deleting from the specified location, we'll see the next video. So we found out the middle. The middle is 3. So temp is equal to start again. And count is equal to 1. So we start from here. Now once we reach while count is not equal to mid, count plus plus, count is 3. So when we reach over here, 
we need to remove the snoot but now we have to be very careful as I have to remove this node, I need to link the previous node of this node to the next node of this. So how do I do it? This is a singly linked list. So we need another pointer previous which we declared at the beginning. So we say previous is equal to temp. Count is 1, mid is 3. So count plus plus, count becomes 2. And previous is equal to temp. So this becomes my previous in the first case. Temp is equal to temp pointer next. This is my temp count becomes 2 and now count plus plus count becomes 3 previous is equal to temp so this becomes my previous and temp is equal to temp pointer next this is my temp and count is not equal to mid but yes count has become equal to mid which is 3 so now we've reached the location where we need to delete the temp we'll see how do we do it previous pointer next is equal to temp pointer next so my temp is pointing over here, my previous is pointing. We say previous pointer next is equal to temp pointer next. So this pointer will break off from here and point to this node. So we have linked the previous node to my temp pointer next node and then we say free temp. So this particular node and this particular node will be deleted from the memory allocation. This is how we insert and delete elements in the middle of a singly linked list. Thank you.